What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be installing a dash cam in my Corolla today. I've been watching a lot of those car fails and dash cam videos so and I don't want that to be me without having a dash cam so I had to pick me up one of these. So this is a, a Vantru S1 I believe. I don't know exactly sure. Bought it on Amazon for like 150 bucks or something like that. I know it was on sale, so yeah, I'm gonna install this today in my Corolla. Let's get started. And I forgot to mention too, this does not come with an SD card, so make sure you pick up an SD card. This one goes up to 256 gigs, so I bought the Samsung one. Um, if you're looking for this, I'll be leaving links to, um, below for everything in here. So this will obviously be very universal for every single car, but today I'll be showing it to you on my Corolla. And I did forget to mention, this comes with a front and rear camera. That way you can get both front and rear video of anything that happens. Comes with a pretty long cable for the back. Then another cable that'll plug into your USB or your cigarette lighter in the front. All right, you guys. So the first thing we're going to want to do is find out where we're going to want to mount this thing. I'm going to mount it obviously behind the mirror over here. It's a very interesting looking camera. I'm going to mount it behind your rear view mirror. So hopefully you won't see it. Um, this one comes with some double sided tape. And I guess it comes with two of them just in case you need to move it or something. This will latch on so you can, once you have it taped on there, Alright, so just peel off this. Alright, so I got it mounted up on there. And that'll mount up right there. I don't really see it much in my mirror. I don't know if I should have put it on the other side. I don't know if I should have put it up on the other side over here. Or here. I'm going to leave it here for now. It doesn't seem like it's going to bother me at all with my vision. So, alright, now we got to run the cable. I'm going to be running it and tucking it along alongside the passenger side. This should be long enough to pretty much run anywhere you want. Alright, so if you look, pretty much just kind of pull down your headliner a little bit. Pretty much, I'm going to say every headliner has a little bit of flex to it. And you should just be able to kind of pull it down and tuck your wire up all right and then i'm going to pop this panel off and then we'll run the wire down that way and then we'll run it to the center console over here i know i got a cigarette lighter here and then i got one in my glove box here so i'm not sure which one i'm going to use i'm most likely going to use this one because this this seems to stick out quite a bit and i don't want it to stick out here i'd like to keep this closed all right so let's get this cable or let's get this panel popped off just be careful your airbag is in here. We don't need to pop it off too much. Alright, so you don't see any wire up here. And just run it down. I wish this popped off. Okay, hopefully that'll give us I'll give you this trim tool, I don't know. It'll help at all. Alright. Alright, so now you don't see that wire hanging out at all. Got the trim all back. Let's put this 10 millimeter bolt back. Huh. 
This thing comes with an extra USB. Okay, nobody's ever mentioned that. Sorry, getting sidetracked. Okay, this panel will pop off. I do wish this was a detachable one. Maybe we should have ran this the opposite way. No matter what, we should be able to do it. And now, we're gonna have to take off the center console. All right, so there's two screws here. Or if you have an automatic, it might be a little bit harder. But. Okay, so I need this cable. Hopefully we can get it fished through here. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy. Okay. This looks like it's gonna be like the perfect blank. All right, you guys, so I'm probably gonna have to redo this. I want to come from here and go that way because I didn't even think this being detachable or not. All right, I'll be right back. Alright you guys, so I just want to give you an update where I'm at real quick. Um, so I did get it ran in here. As you saw in some of my video earlier, I dremeled out the hole a little bigger so I can run my cable through. Kept some slack over here. Made sure nothing was going to rub. Then I ran it along the other wires here. Ran it up into here. Then you can see it right here. I'm going to zip tie that. Then I ran it up into the A pillar. And then I put it right up into the dash camera here. So, all right, now I guess we'll turn the car on and just see how it works, see what it's doing, and then we will go and do the back camera. All right, guys, so I got the whole front camera installed. Now I'm going to be running the wire for the back camera over here. They give you, I mean, honestly, it looks like 20 feet of wire, 15 feet of wire. So I'm going to be taking it, running up on the opposite side, and running it up on the top over here. So. Let's get that going real quick. There you guys, so I got the cable ran all the way to the back. Um, everything is looking pretty good. I'm about to tape it to the windshield or the rear windshield. Um, so one thing I did notice and I didn't even pay attention, but I ran the wire on the driver's side and the way to mount this camera, it's gonna be on the passenger side. So it kind of has to make a hard bend, um, kind of dumb. I didn't realize that until after I got all the way through here. So kind of keep that in mind then when you guys install this yourself, if you do that it might be easier to install on the passenger side because the plug for that is on the on the passenger side so but i guess i'm just gonna have to have a hard bend in it and hopefully and hopefully it'll look good so let me tape this on there and then we'll go see how it looks all right guys so i got everything all installed everything's hooked up as you can see i hope you can see it pretty good it's showing the rear one up there and then the front one right here. And I already set up all the time and date and everything. Something you should remember, make sure you rip off the, the tape in front of the lens. Yeah, rip off the tape. All right guys, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. And if you guys like this video or if you guys wanna see anything more just like this, put your comment down below. Tell me what else you guys wanna see me install because I'm willing to try anything on this Corolla. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Alright guys, and also I'm going to be showing you guys some clips of what it looks like on the car. Um, hopefully it looks good. You guys will be seeing it before I do. So, here they are. Hopefully they look nice and crisp. I believe this camera shoots in 4K. If not, I know it's 1080p. 
and I believe it's 4K for the front and then 1080p for the back. So I know I didn't go over much of that at the beginning when I unboxed it or whatever, but and I went with this camera too because the Vantru camera is a lot more of a name brand camera. There was a lot of other cameras out there that are way cheaper. Like I'm talking like 40, 50 bucks. I know this one was 150 I paid with like a discount on Amazon. Like I said, I'll link that below. But I went with this one, it has a longer warranty. Um, I've seen a lot of videos of these and the quality looks good. So hopefully that'll also be as good. So, all right, well, hopefully you guys like them and I'll see you guys next time.